Hey, 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 hey! It's the John and Heather Show coming to all of you live from our production studio slash call me a damn wambulance because my feet are killing me after the weekend that we had. Honey, I mean, tell them. That, I'm telling you, we were on our feet yesterday probably 13 hours and Easy. our feet are killing us. Yeah, my watch said I clocked like six miles walking around Scooter Haven, which... We're going to talk to you about here in a little bit. That's right. We got we're try all, to keep it in order. all the dirty secrets to tell you. Yeah, we're going to try to keep this in order tonight a little bit. All right. So we did our introduction. We did everything else. So and we've what? had a great week. It's been up and down, and it's been a merry-go-round. That's yeah. for damn sure. Mm. This episode, you know, this week has kind of been a lot about family also. It um, really has, and... Uh, we're tired. We've had a rough week, mm -hmm. unfortunately, and we're going to tell you all about it because yeah. we decided to always be honest with yeah. all of you. You guys yeah. are our fans and our family. family. That is very important. We need to, to be us. blood to be family. Exactly. That's part of our lifestyle, mm -hmm. the biker lifestyle. That's true. Ben, ben, I was preaching about it yesterday when I streamed live. Loyalty, honor, respect. Those things we take very much to heart, but we also take the fact that we want to be honest and open with all of you. Yeah. So when things go on in our lives, we share them with you. Yeah, good, the bad, and the ugly. That's right. Yeah. So anyways, we'll tell you all about this week. Yeah, well, there's a couple things, but a couple that weren't bad, though. A lot, yeah. a lot, some of this some week things wasn't weren't bad. bad. But, okay, let's start off. Now, right off the bat on Monday... The bike went to Iron Horse Performance and Parts. All right. Hey, hey, hey. All right, everybody. Here we are. We're looking at the back of my car. And we are getting ready to go. Hey, guys. And there he is. I finally got my parts in here. And uh, I'm heading out to Iron Horse uh, Performance right now because I get a few parts to put on. <laughs> Just a few, baby. Just a few. Huh? Just a few parts. Just a few. It's about eight months worth of us ordering parts yeah, and waiting. Stuff in all this. Jeez, don't... You don't even know what you uh, have. Yeah, that's my linkage. Okay. All righty. Well, we really got to get going. You can tape this. I got to start moving things around. All right. You got lots of stuff in here, baby. Got your floorboard, we got turning singles, we got brake lights, we got linkage, we got chrome, 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 and guess what? We got more chrome. I love it. So I'm getting ready to follow my man over to the Performance Iron Horse Cycles. Let me show you Hell's Machine. For the last time, she will be looking stock. See through clutch covers. All kinds of funky stuff. See-through clutch covers, derby, chrome, chrome, chrome all over. She's going to look totally different, ain't she, baby? Inner primary cover. This whole piece is going to be chrome. What else? On this side, uh, floorboards, front and rear, controls, front, inner, um, primary cover, uh, linkage, windscreen, front of the windscreen. Yeah, Signal lights in front are all going to be changed out. Rear tail light is going to be changed out. Air filter is going to come out. It's all going to be clear. This is all going to be clear. Windshield's only going to be this high, tinted with a lip on it. And like I say, the signal lights are all going to be a uh, fog. And going to be halos. Order the front floors, diamond floors. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you have throwing stars for right yeah. here, this is the part we have to order. Side view mirrors are going to be changed. And I got like a little, little skull on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Hell's cool? Machine, you're ready to go get prettier. Oh, also, she's getting a Dino Tune, <coughs> chipped Dino Tune. Also, the uh, mufflers are coming off. And, um, well, the stock headers are it's coming off. And uh, custom headers are getting put on it, too. And I can use the same heat shields. So it saved me some money. So uh, it's going to look the same exhaust wise because I already have the Reinhardt Racing pipe ends on it. But underneath it, it's all going to be new guts. And that's what we want. 
And a Dino Tune. So are you excited? Hell yeah. Hell yes, I'm excited. Can you believe I finally said yes to all this? It's yeah, still because. shocking. It is. That's why I'm almost at, almost at a speechless uh, term time uh, right now. You know, so. You're excited? Yeah. Just says 9.30. I'm ready to go, baby. Yep, I know. I'm just my getting my stuff. My stuff's in my car. That's right. I just have to go get my vest on. And I'm going to ride this over there for uh, a couple days at least. Yeah. I'm going to miss you, health machine. Yes, but you're going to be happy and hot. Thank yeah, you, you are, little, baby. And a little antenna that goes back there. It looks like a 50 caliber bullet. Yeah, no more of that big ass antenna back there. I'm tired of that thing. I always run into that thing. So she's going to look all pretty when we're done. She's pretty now, but she's going to look prettier. Right, Hell's Machine? You're going to be prettier. All right, everybody. We love you guys. We'll see you shortly. We're so excited to be finally getting this done. And I'm so happy that I can finally do this for my man and make him happy. There's nothing like making your partner happy and doing something that they never suspected you would say yes to. So I'm really happy for John. He deserves this. He works really, really hard. And uh, he's in the medical field, as you know, and he works 13 hour shifts. He works very hard and he's just a great guy. And I'm so blessed to have him in my life. So thank you so much, John. I love you. You are everything to me, baby. And I am so pleased that we are able to do this too. Hell's Machine, our beautiful baby. So we will see you shortly. Bye, everybody. So That's right. Hell's Machine is getting done up. Like you ladies get your hair did. Well, we are getting chrome. We're getting some more chrome. And guess what? More chrome. chrome. No joke. And we're getting about 20, 25 more horsepower. Better tires, headers, dyno tune, key chip, chrome, more chrome. And it's like a new bike. Well, the thing was, we really wanted a show bike, but we didn't want a trailer queen. I didn't want a bike to take it in and out of the trailer, go to the show, take it out of the show, put it in the trailer, and that's it. No. We wanted uh, I want a functional, good looking bike. I want a functional, good looking bike. And I want one that's good. Just like a functional, good looking wife. Functional. <laughs> so the bike got dropped off, and props to Iron Horse. This guy's been in business 30 years. Yeah. Recommended by everybody I talk to, so. Everybody knows him. Everybody, well, 30 years you've been in the same place. I mean, I remember that shop when I was a kid, and that road was only like one way in and out before yeah. it even made it big, before the landfill was even there, any of that stuff when I was a kid, 30 something years ago. Wow. He was there. He even agreed. He's like, oh, yeah. I don't remember shop. that. No, you lived in Miami. I know, but I don't remember okay. 30 years ago. <laughs> All right, and uh, after that, that was our happy time. And then we noticed that our daughter um, was acting strange. Yeah, we noticed she she was showing some signs that things weren't all going right. well. Yeah, in the she, head. And, yeah, things weren't, and her, and her body was showing jerky movement. Yeah. She was having some tick-like things going on that, was weird, so yeah. we looked up on her medication. She got she got put on a new medication uh, six to ten days prior, and we really thought that that medication, you know, it has to build up in your system till it becomes what's called therapeutic, which means there's enough of it in there. One pill won't do. You got to take a couple of them. Well, anyway, it has week, to build up in your system. Week passed by, and she started acting goofy as shit. So anyway, I said, all right, just. Sleep it off, get somewhere she couldn't sleep. She was a zombie. We but thought it, she could just rest and it would go away if she didn't take it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Gave her some Benadryl. They gave her 50 milligrams of Benadryl. We thought maybe a little allergic reaction. Who the hell knows? So anyway. And shit helped, okay? It was mm -hmm. horrible, yeah. unfortunately. Next day was Tuesday. Well, Tuesday she was still sick. Yeah. Tuesday she was still showing these signs and... And they, you know, we, we weren't sure what was going on. Yeah. That's the hard part is when you don't know what's going on. We don't know what to and do. And kid, too. It's like, and I she's know what I'm baby. doing. She's our baby. She's 20. And I, and I know symptoms of anything that's allergic or, 
you know, what I thought was, you know, the medications that she was taking is now that therapeutic in her system. It's interacting with the, one of the other meds that she was taking. And I'm basically, you know, pretty close to being right on that. But anyway, so anyway, she got, you know, more and more sick throughout the day. But her boyfriend was being really good. And he stayed home and just watched it the whole time. Stayed over at her house and watched it the whole we time. We basically traded off with babysitting. We had because to watch her. that's what we had to do. We had to take care of her and watch what was going mm-hmm. on. Because at the and time, she was refusing her, to go to the hospital. Right, and try to get her to sleep. Would not go to the hospital no matter how much I asked her to. But we had to come home because we had a really, really good interview that day. Now, a big interview, big interview with a really fun and unique woman. Oh, she was sweet. I liked her. Robin Sweet. Hawk. Oh, she full was of energy. Amazing. God, yes. Full of energy. We love you, Robin. You are Multi-tasking an amazing lady. Multitasking queen. Multitasking queen. I mean, she's saying, oh, yeah, I... I I'm Uncaged a, life. Yeah, Uncaged life. Oh, yeah, I'm the CEO and president of this. Oh, I have a charity at this. this and oh, by the way, I'm an assistant principal. Oh, and I'm going to be... I'm like... How do how? you do it all? How? I'm like, you know, how do you do it? How can you do all that stuff? I said it was a clone running around. It looked just like her. That went and did all of her busy work. And then she stayed home and just did what she had to do and the clone ran around. Yeah. It's the only thing I could figure. But, man, she was smart. Does all kinds of stuff. All, um, smart, like pretty. Like the ride that's coming up, too. That intelligent. About. The Rosie exactly. the Riveter ride. Yes. Coming up in May. Rosie the Riveter ride. It's about female the empowerment. The 31st, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. Female um, empowerment ride. As a matter of fact... Oh, she may have it right up here on the computer. We could actually tell you. Yeah. Is that it? It's a little click. Oops. Oops, is that... I don't know if it's going to show up, but if not, it's... It's... We can do it, Rosie the River Ride. It's on May 31st. Got it. Click it off, baby, because I don't know if they can see all that. See, right now, I can't see myself because our... Camera's kind of screwy, and Heather's trying to... There we go. There we go. But anyway, if you saw that, you saw what it is, and then... In editing, we'll do something cute. But anyway, <laughs> we'll fix it. That's a run that's coming up, and she was promoting that. It's for female empowerment. Very good woman. Uh, chapters that she belongs to. She's actually Stilettos the president. Stilettos on Steel. Stilettos, SOS Stilettos on Steel. She is the uh, president of that, right? She's of her chapter. Of her chapter. So it's a world. I of, believe so. I'm okay. not sure. So, so I watch could be the video. Wrong because she does so much. Robin, so much. you do so much that I am yeah, thinking something wrong. If we misspoke, wrong. we're very sorry. But we do know Robin has Uncaged Life on YouTube also. So make sure that you watch it. She is good at YouTube and Facebook. Uncaged and motorcycle Life. Repair. And uh, she does the motorcycle repair, yeah. women empowerment, and. Um, Learn how to wrench. That's how also, she, she has the Jeep and uh, goes in. Um, Off roading with that. Yeah. So she's a pretty unique young lady to uh, Jeep check Club. out. Yeah, Jeep Club is what it is. That's exactly. People do the off-roading with the Jeeps and stuff. I think it's cool as hell. Yeah. Now just, and, and if you want to get all the specifics on everything, please check her out either on our YouTube channel. Uh, go to the John Heather Show on YouTube. Go ahead, and if you're a subscriber, you can look for the video. If not, go to our page on Facebook. Scroll down a little bit, and you can come across the uh, interview. The interview. Uh, we got a lot phone of interview phone interview. Yeah, it was a side-by-side phone interview. We got a lot of good positive of feedback from all our fans which we were really happy about a lot of it people was a great show a lot of people watched it. it was very 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 good show all right now where are we up to oh Wednesday. also no no i still on tuesday oh. while let's see there was still a lot more we done see because another thing that we did on tuesday because randy had to watch Lexi. alexi you went and got your nails real quick oh that's your mom. right i went with my yeah, mom tuesday was a busy day yeah, uh, Tuesday was D Day for the nails. Finally, Open back up. Thank you, Governor, for mm. raising the restriction and making the salons open to us and available. Yeah. I finally was able to get normal hands again. That's important to her. For, I mean, I also really appreciate a woman that takes good care of her nails. So my nails are yes. finally done again. Then, mm-hmm. yes, they are mine. As you can see, yes. no, they're not long. They're just regular sport nails because mm-hmm. we work out. We're always busy running and she's around. She's typing a lot too with those big long nails. I don't know I how. Couldn't do anything. I've seen some girls at work with nails. I I don't know how they do it. They have beautiful long nails oh, no. and they can do everything and type and and do and and. Like Sammy Joe with the coffin nails. Yeah, and they can use the phone, nails the queen. coffin nails, yeah, beautiful queen. nails. I can't do it. I don't know how people are able to. But anyways, I was very happy to get my nails done. And you had lunch with her. Too. And, 
Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Heather Show coming to you live from Apex Nails. That's right. I finally got to get in here. They finally opened at Apex Nails, but it is precautions. They are asking you by law, part of their opening and being able to be open at salons is that you have to wear these lovely face masks. Thank you, Corona-19, COVID-19. Thank you, look what you caused us. Now we have to wear these while we're getting our nails done. And I can barely breathe in the damn thing. I don't like them. They suck. But anyways, I don't know how they wear them all day working with these suckers on. Oh well. Anyways, we hope you guys are having a great day. I'm loving it being back here and finally being able to get my nails done and see them. They all are happy here and doing a great job. Apex Nails here in Crystal River. Thank you. Bye bye. And then my mom, yes, my mom and I, we went out to lunch. Yeah, I write everything down or I forget. That's why I'm always looking at this. And this week he actually wrote things down. We Yay, switched things I'm, around. I'm figuring out stuff. But, but anyways, I went to lunch with my mom. I did stuff too. And yes, well, you did. We went to lunch and yeah. I had a great lunch. And checking it out. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. It's the John and Heather Show. But now it's the John and Heather Show minus John. So it's the Heather and Sharon Show. My mommy, she's decided to join us. And we're here, we're here at Wendy's, outside, social distancing, eating, finally. We don't have to eat in the damn car. We got to order our food inside, and we're sitting out here in the breeze, enjoying lunch. It's kind of like normalcy. We went and we got our nails done this morning. See our beautiful nails? Look at those beautiful nails. So things are starting to get back to normal and we're so happy. Yay us! So hopefully things will keep going in the way that we need them to go. Mom, you can take off your mask now. You don't need it anymore. Oh, Heather, I'm sorry. I know, you don't need it anymore, unless you want it. She might like it. Personally, I hated it. I took mine off right away after we were done in the salon. But that was part of the restrictions. You had to wear a mask. They had only 25%. There we go. My mom's now wearing a sanitary <laughs> napkin on her head. Perfect. She fits right in. Now you know where I come from. The apple does not fall far from the tree. There's the tree. All right, everybody. We love you. Don't forget, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And every Tuesday, we're live on Facebook and YouTube from 9 to 10. Deuces. Lunch. I'm checking in on Lexi. So the easiest way for me to check in on my daughter is that uh, first I mowed the yard here at our house because it just flat out needed to be done because it's been a couple weeks and it's starting to get warmer out now. The grass is starting to grow. So I went ahead and I cut so hours. So are we? And then I had to go keep checking up on my daughter. So the only thing I could think of was I'm going to go mow her yard too. Yeah. So I could go check up on her and I could run in the house. So... I go over there and I really didn't know that she hasn't had that yard cut in probably five months. So that backyard, I don't know horrible. if I need a mower, a machete, a brush hog. I couldn't even see him in the goat. middle of I the could, yard. I couldn't figure it out. When he was goat. out there. So anyway, I did her yard. That took me four hours. But I went ahead and I did her yard. I mowed it down, made her yard look nice for her. And she was still really, really sick. But I still at least felt better because I could check in on her. And yeah, but we were still pretty much um, watching her and watching the signs and mm. dealing with that. So now Wednesday rolled around and she came over here about 10.30. Yeah. About 10.30 and... She was full blown. She was just, just out of it. Just, just wasn't herself. And she and was not herself. She needed the to go medicine to had made her 
um, not be the person that she was. It yeah, made her crazy. I think it was the right dose she was taking, too. Yeah. It may have been too much. So anyway, it still wasn't flushing out of her system. As a matter of fact, it was, it was probably a cumulative dose like some of the other meds. You could stop the med and sit, you could track the labs and the labs would still have them coming and up. And they, they still build up yeah, like so an you, antibiotic. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, we had to get her. She couldn't go, couldn't go, couldn't go. We finally got her to the, the hospital, hospital that night. Right. We yes. Were, yeah, we had a nine one one her out, but we finally got her to the hospital. It was hard, but we got her there. And I took her to Leesburg, but we had to go all the way out there anyway. Yeah. So anyway, um, the place was able to take care of her. At least she was able to get looked at. We found that yes, it was a drug reaction, but she was in the hospital pumping her full of IV fluids to flush all that meds out of her. And as soon as they get put her, her on back, the right, we're going to give her two IV, yeah, two IVs, hold the pills. Flush her and next thing she started talking again, like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's back. Yeah. Yay. But she had to go there. Thank they had a monitor, but they had to monitor her. They had a, they had a cardiac monitor on her because of uh, it could be arrhythmias with this too. So she had to spend a couple days there. And of course, we can't visit because of all this bullshit still going on. So. Yeah, with the corona. So it was hard. And, and, and she forgot talk. her phone. And she forgot her phone. And just got, you know. So anyway, that, that happened to us on Wednesday. So Thursday now. See, Wednesday was just Lexi. I was taking care was of family. Crazy. Family, taking care of our daughter, making sure she's okay, doing the best we can, finally getting her to the hospital, to where she needed to be, a place that, that does the stuff with all the meds, and she had to go to Leesburg, and it's done. She's feeling better. So anyway, we'll get to the rest of it. So anyway, Thursday rolls around. Lexi's in the hospital. We can check up on her. She's doing better. Thank you, Jesus, again. Thank you, Lord. So anyway, I had to work that day. So I was at work, and Heather... Basically, that day stayed since the, uh, Wednesday was with our kid. And I didn't taking sleep care of her. because we didn't I sleep. stayed with her. We, yeah, we didn't, we, she didn't sleep. We didn't sleep. It was just... It yeah, was terrible. <laughs> but what can I say? It's your kid. So everything else got put on hold in our business, you know, and everything else. Our life got put life, on hold. business, however you want to put all of this that we do. You know how it is. So Thursday, so... I worked, and Heather basically sat where she is right now for the entire day into the night after editing. I came home, editing to get caught up on everything. My glasses keep slipping. I got to eat. These. I'm trying not to touch my face anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah, spent so the whole, whole day thing. trying to play catch up. Catch up, not put on a burger either. No, catch unfortunately, because it would have tasted better than the hours that I spent working but we really try to give you guys a good product we really try to give you guys something that you'd like to watch simple as that you know if it's something crappy i'm not gonna want to see it either no so we do the best we can with what money we have because we do this for you exactly and we, we enjoy it we do. it's our hobby it's our so passion. then all right now let me oh friday i get this one over here now ah. All right, so here's Friday. Friday, I worked again. Yay! Yay, John, for working. Thank you, Lord, for letting yeah, John work. Yeah, so being Thank able you, to John, work throughout working. all this because I'm considered essential. So every job is essential. It's bullshit. Every job is essential. It's, every paycheck is essential. Exactly. I don't care who you are. All right, that's my little rant. Actually, uh, what's, it, uh, what's his row? Or Mike Rowe. Mike Rowe is actually the one I heard that he said that. He said every job is essential. And I, I agree with him. I like that. I like fact that every paycheck is a tool. Yeah, no joke. So um, I worked on Friday, and then you went to Walmart with your mom. Woo-wee, boy, can you talk about some excitement. <laughs> okay. Well, no, we had a good time. Unfortunately, I, I understand what she's saying, because she's my mother. It's always too. fun. Um, and let me tell you, it's always exciting. You never know what the fuck's going to happen right yeah, now. Yeah, she's definitely an interesting person to take amongst like a group of people. Especially if they're older people like she is, and you think that they might be small, demure, de de demure, you know what I'm saying, you know, demure. Demure. Like demure you know, she would make a sailor blush. Yeah, got a mouth She would make a sailor blush. And I was a sailor. Really, I'm a veteran. I'm a sailor. And she's yeah. made him blush. Yeah. So you went to Walmart. Then you went to your mom's for dinner. I did. And then let me tell you, that was an experience in itself. Uh, mom's getting up there, as you yeah. guys know. And that's why my mom 
I, I had my mom move closer to us. Mm -hmm. She lives right around the corner from us so that we are able to help out because, you know, it's that time in her life yeah. where She's 70, it's time for support. 75 now, right? Yeah, 75. 75. Yeah, because my mom and her mom almost the same age. For family support. Mm -hmm. So I had dinner over there, and dinner has changed. It wasn't the same like my mom used to make dinner would be like a cooked roast or something like that. Veggies, cooked Yeah, clothes. now things are a little bit different, and we had microwavable dinosaur chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Okay. Now, granted, there was no meat left, but she wanted something different. And I, have you gone shopping? I'm not saying anything, but, you uh, know. No, no, I understand that, but I'm just going to, this is just put yourself in her mindset. She didn't want to go there in the first place. That's just how she is. She's very happy complaining. That's just her. So anyway, she went there. I think she wanted to get the um, the Tyson cooked fried the fried chicken that's frozen that you put right. in there. Like we, we love the chicken right. tenders. She likes the the chicken. So anyway, Walmart. So guess what was there? The dinosaur chicken fing the chicken fingers shaped like little dinosaurs that you give the five year olds with dippy sauce. Yep. That's all that was left, and she was so mad that that was all that was left. She just grabbed it. Right. Bought him. And we ate him. Yep. Alrighty she, then. You ate him. I ate him for dinner with macaroni and cheese. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't. Actually, it was an experience to say the least. But you know what? It was fun to it's have dinner. It's so, fun. yeah. You got to do what you got to do. And like John said, it's always, this week was about family. Mm -hmm. For us, it's always about family. Yeah, everybody's family. Because Everyone that you love is family. I'm lucky enough to have family. Because I don't have a lot of family. Yeah. You're my family. Exactly. We are each other. We are each other's family. We don't have a whole lot of family. No, we don't. We don't. My immediate family is our daughters and Your my mom. mother. Same thing with and me. And my father lives um, in Georgia. So I don't really get to see him, mm -hmm. um, but he's you know he's there and I talk to him and he's he's in my in my life, my but I just don't see him much. My mom, however, of course you know she is around the corner and mm -hmm. she's my support, and my rock, and I love her. Oh yeah. Um, you and, talk to your mom every day. Yeah, but mm -hmm. things have gotten different, and so yeah. it's a big change. And and John being my support, my rock. Yeah. Has been helping me through this. Thank you, baby. You're that's welcome, sweet you. sweetheart. That's, that's sweet of you. Thank well, you. That's true. Thank you. So, anyways, that was that. Okay, now where are we? Okay, Saturday. Now, okay, now that we got done talking about all the let me just let me just lead in. Okay. Yeah. Now we just got done talking about all the depressions. Because you're gonna have plenty of shit you can put on here about this. Okay, Scooter Haven, Scooter Haven. And Scooter Haven, those are the only three words that I like this time. Heather over here, my beautiful wife, has my camera gimbal. Then again, there you go, Diva Angels, Diva Angels, having a good time. Here we go, we got brothers and sisters hanging out. Look who it is, we got Slingshot, Helen Stratton herself is in the house, having a great time. Look at her just hanging out, looking as beautiful as always. We're enjoying, yes she is, a beautiful young lady, she's at least 29 years old. Looking for a man about 29 years old. Um, okay, she wants a man about 45. Ah. Job and teeth, their standards aren't that bad, guys. We got everybody hanging out here. We got more fans. Oh, hanging in there. Oh, we're hanging out. We got to see people. This is so nice to see people here. We are all out and about, and none of us. Let's spin it around. Spin it around. Here we go. There you go. Yeah. We got John Rock. <laughs> we got everybody here hanging out. We're having a good time. That's right. We're just having fun. Right now. Everybody come That's to right. Haven. Got to get down here in English right now. Come on out here. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Come on. We For need real. the love. Stop bringing up the viewers. Woo! We need the love. The love. Okay, I'm gonna turn That's my ugly mug off. I'm gonna spin the camera yeah. around. Whoa, music. There we go. Here we go.
Looks like we've already gone through a little beer. Oh, hey Marcia King. Hey Pops, what's going on? Hey Catherine, how you doing? Just giving some shout outs right now to everybody online. We have Lawless Intent right now up on stage performing. After them, we're gonna have Jezebel with Sammy Joe right over here, getting everyone getting ready to go. There you go. Here in red, I we drank alone. Sammy Joe right here. Yeah, Having a great time. Jezebel will be coming on soon. We had so much Scooter Haven. Oh my god, the fun that we had. This place was jumping. It was packed. We're you estimating thousand to that 1,500 video. people. We got videos up now. If you follow us on our Facebook page, you went ahead and you saw a lot of our live streams. Well, I also have Sunny Joe live in concert with Jezebel because she is the mistress of rock and roll. And beautiful Sunny Joe. Sammy. Up, Sammy Joe. Why am I saying Sunny Joe? I don't know. It's Sammy. I know it's Sammy. I don't know why. Sammy, I'm really sorry. I don't know why I said He's that. He's tired. I'm tired. All right. So anyway, Sammy Joe. Was singing there up on stage. I got some great footage of her singing. I got stills. I got her singing all kinds of stuff. We're going to have Heather at nighttime on it, running around with the camera, doing all the uh, stuff like through the crowd because there's a crowd like of a people. Squirrel. Yeah, she did Super Squirrel with it, with that. So you're going to have my footage that we're going to do. We figure we're going to do them both. I got my footage during the daytime of her doing her thing, and then some of the nighttime footage is going to be Squirrel Cam. Right, so but you got to check out that video. That video will be coming up also, shortly. And and I also got to throw props to my other friends out there from Lawless Intent. Yes, guys from Lawless Intent. They opened up there. They did a wonderful job. They volunteered their time to go because this event was for. Um, it was for West Coast Florida Riders. That is correct. And I'm Rider Now Magazine tonight. was out there right, yep. supporting it yes, in they were. full swing. Along with Fran Hash. Everywhere Eddie. And Everywhere Eddie. And our friends, the Dale and Cat Show. And from two Indians. Orlando. Yep, and Dale two Cat. Indians. Yep, Dale and Cat were there. They were, had a great time. Today they were out there giving out shirts and doing all kinds of cool stuff out there. So we had full live. media blowout. We were in Everybody full was swing Everybody out there. Was there. We had so much fun seeing our friends. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing. You know, it's a neat thing because... We're all in this business together, and we all offer something different. Yes. But we all are able to um, work together. Work together, and that's Simple important. as that. Just exactly. work together. Simple as that. You go do this. Well, you do that. I'll go do this. There's plenty of work for everybody. Trust me. There's plenty of work for everybody. Exactly. So... We had That's fun. <laughs> That's my we brand. had so much fun. We had fun. We had fun. I mean, we had a great time. We did. We did most of our filming today. Dale did most of his filming today. Uh, yesterday, he did his today. Um, everybody was there. Brad we had was having a, a very good time. Good just, time. It was just so, so much crowded. Stuff. Let me tell you. I think that there was probably a maybe thousand to fifteen hundred. A thousand to fifteen hundred people yeah, there. Yeah, bare minimum. I mean, poof. and it was. Packed and it was just People a dancing. blast. Dancing, everybody yeah, having a good time. I was dancing, time. dancing out in the middle. I started dancing, of course, because I always do. I don't care that nobody's out there. She's super squirrel. I have a great time by oh, myself. Yeah, only one out there. She'll be dancing. Ah, up there dancing. Don't, don't I care. had a blast. Mm -hmm. I'll go out there. I danced with you. Yes, a lot, you though. danced with me. I did. We had a good time. We, we hung really out with everybody. We mm. met so many people. We ate burgers people too. I ate burgers. I don't care. Yeah. Onion rings and onion rings. We just had so good much food. fun. Thank you, Florence Jane, for hooking us up on the food. Yes, mm. thank you very much. Those You're an amazing cook, great. Florence. She was in there. Props to Florence and everybody else. I don't think that she slept working. in what, three days. In, yeah, in the kitchen at Scooter Haven, you guys were slammed, working and you hard. were pumping out some great food. So thank you very much, mm -hmm. Bradley and Fran. You did an amazing job. You put on amazing. a great event. Everybody, we loved it. We had a fantastic time. It was like family, literally. It's like a family reunion because we know everybody. We really, and when I say it that way, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to just you know have a big head when I'm saying it. I'm we know everybody, and oh my god, it was like a family reunion because nothing's really been open. 
it was so much fun to see everybody. Mm -hmm. And the fact also it was fun to see everyone and see what they've done if people had changed the way that they looked, if they had cut their hair, if their hair had grown any longer. Or someone you know, cut their hair. Or if they dyed their hair a different color or things mm -hmm. like that. Because you know how that is. So... Well, women, I, well, have, you know how many women we ran into and just said that they got drunk and dyed their hair and now it looks like crap? Yeah. Well, seriously, you look at me funny. No, that. seriously. Thank like, God Two I or didn't three women that. told me that. I got drunk and dyed my hair and look, it looks like crap. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have no hair. I don't care. But still, I thought it was funny. Yeah. So anyway, that was yesterday. Anyway. So we had a great time there. Oh, it yeah. was packed. We had so much fun. And yes, they did run out of cabins. And like we said, when you go to Scooter Haven yeah. and you well, want to call in advance, you always need to get in touch with Bradley or Fran yeah. and reserve your cabin in advance. Yes. Definitely. But we had a great time. And then today... Lexi got out of the hospital. Our daughter got out of I want to say it first. Lexi got out of the hospital. Yay. We were waiting we were so there with happy. balloons. We had flowers, flowers and balloons for her. Oh, and she loved it. I mean, she just came over and gave us big hugs and kisses, and she felt great. And finally, our Lexi was back. So she's at home right now, and she's still rested up. She still needs a couple of days to rest up and get all this crap out of her system. But she's doing better. Much better. Thank you, God. That's mm -hmm. all we have to say. And yes. thank you for all the well wishes and prayers oh, yes, and everything from our that fans. we got thank from everybody. Much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, everyone. And we took today after we got Lexi home. We probably pretty much came here. And uh, John said I passed out for a few hours. He couldn't wake me up. I was so computer. tired. Trying to get everything done. We're trying. We're, we're trying so hard. And. I hurt from taking that camera, running around with that camera for at least 10 hours at the time when I was there. I know I was filming. And really, running around, you don't think that's nothing. Oh, you're just filming. It's all you get. No, try running up on stage, in between the sets, then come down. Your hand hurts. Oh, your then they get done with hurts. set number one. Time for interview. Grab all your gear. Run up on stage. Oh, we forgot need you something now. Out there. Oh, we need you now. Go back up there. Oh, left my phone down. John, I need you now, there. now. I need you on stage and that's, now, and that's John. that's all I hear in the back. And then guess what? All my lights, I have my nice, I have these studio lights, they're oh, tiny, yeah. they're like this big and they're super duper bright. Um, I charged them fully charged the last time that I put them away. And that was probably about two months ago, I used them, maybe three months ago. I go there, dead, dead, and dead, and then the lights on stage weren't on yet because it just turned dark. I mean, twilight just turned dark. It was a hairy Sammy situation. Sammy Joe there, we're trying to go ahead and, and shoot, and guess what? So, anyway, we got <laughs> a light guy up there. It was a hairy situation. Got a light guy up there. Finally, we had to unplug a fan to plug a light set up in to get it working. That and was the trick. Only, had only plug. No, it was the only plug that was that was left because and when Jezebel plays, they got a lot of equipment, so they had all their equipment set up, and it's kind of limited on the power that that you know yeah. where, where that things are. I mean, because it's really not set for big lots of equipment. Because they're playing on a ship. Yeah. So, yeah, it's on the ship of memories. It's also a stage. So, needless to say, they had one plug to get that one light working, and he had to unplug his fan that was 90 degrees on the stage. And then we had to do the interview, sweating like pigs. And we did it. We pulled it off. For and you. thank you, Sammy I did Joe. It for you, Sammy Joe, did a wonderful She's interview. Amazing. Beautiful as ever. Great performance. Just every year I hear you, you get better and better. Yes, you do. We've watched you since, oh God, we first met you a few yeah. years back. And yeah, when she first started singing. You, yeah, you, she's 22, and uh, we you met her when she was, I think, 18. 18. Yeah. yeah, 18. That's when we met her. So it's been a while. But anyway, so that's been our week, and um, it's, been a, it's been a week. It's, it's been a week. Thankfully, it's been a week. Yeah, yeah that's all we can say. Over. Yeah, it's been a week. It's been a week, and... Um, it's over. I'm glad to say it's over. And it's thank you, God, that Lexi's home and that the medication's okay. out of her system. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's better now. Yeah. So, so all I got to say is she's better now. And shiny side up, rubber side down. We love you all. And 
you need to smash that button and subscribe to us. Smash it. Smash it. Bam. That button and subscribe, especially on our YouTube channel. Smash that button. Hit the bell in the corner for notifications. The ding. Ding. And don't you forget, this Tuesday, forget. we have a special guest on our show. Who is it? Valerie Smith, owner and founder of... Writer, Writer Now Owl. Magazine. Mm -hmm. And not only oh, and that. TV, and TV. And TV. And charity. Multimedia and TV. Multimedia. She is one of the most charitable women that we know. She does so many different charities. Tough and woman. puts out things to help within our motorcycle community. Like mm -hmm. she just did the Easter basket event oh, out yeah. at Scooter Haven with yeah. Scooter Haven where they were she giving made, Easter She made baskets. it do because at that time they couldn't even have the uh, with social distancing. This and was they, back last month. They were able to do they it. Were able, she got it. She pulled it off. That yeah. was something. So she's going to be on our show Tuesday night and mm -hmm. uh, she's a really neat woman to talk mm -hmm. with and oh, we're yeah. looking forward oh, yeah. to that. That woman's done everything and it's wonderful. And then, since we already said that shiny sides up and rubber sides down, we're just going to say we love you all. That's right. Yes, we do. We're so you deuces. guys have a great week. Deuces, deuces. <laughs> Enjoy. Have a great week. And we love all of you. Thank That's you. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.